Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Uh, if you're in your final couple of years in high school, you've probably have run into all of these trick identities and you have no idea what they mean or where they come from. So today I'm going to show you guys where this particular rule comes from so you get a better idea of uh, what it means and how to use it. Okay, so the rule that I'm going through today is sine bracket A plus B equals sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. So you're going to think, where is all of this coming from? So let's just show you an example of how this rule works. So you let's say you have two uh, values. You have a value for A and a value for B. So let A equal... Uh, 20 degrees and let's say B equals 30 degrees alright so now according to this rule sine bracket A plus B so sine bracket 20 plus 30 and let's see what the answer is in a calculator so I'm using the Desmos uh, desktop calculator and you can see here that sine bracket 20 plus 30 is 0 0.766 uh, don't forget to put your calculator in degrees mode if you haven't done that so it's 0 0.766 and then now I'm going to uh, now I'm going to try sine 20 times cos 30 plus cos 20 times sine uh, 30 okay so I'm gonna type all of this into the Desmos calculator and see what it gives me and you can see here that I also got 0 0.766 So this shows you that the rule does work. Okay, but where does this rule come from? How did somebody know that sine bracket 20 plus 30 equals all of this? So let's show you guys how uh, the proof of it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle where the length of the diagonal is one unit. So you can see here this is a rectangle, um, it's got right angles at all of the corners and it has a diagonal that is one centimeter long or one unit long. Okay now I'm going to label the angle here as angle X. Okay, angle X is the angle that the diagonal makes with the horizontal. Okay, and you have to pretend that this rectangle is sitting on a horizontal line. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this rectangle uh, anti clockwise using point A as the center of rotation. So look what happens to the rectangle. So I have rotated the rectangle uh, using point A as the center of rotation anti-clockwise. So angle X is still the same size. So I'm going to put angle X over here. It's still the same size. And then there's a new angle that we now have to deal with. So this is angle X. But now we've created a new angle which we're going to call angle Y which is the degree of rotation. Okay so uh, I'm also going to draw a vertical line downwards from where point C is. Okay I'm going to draw a vertical line downwards directly downwards to where the horizontal line is to create another right angle triangle okay so there's going to be 
another right angle here and obviously all of these are still right angles so it's a right angle and so on so I'm creating another right angle triangle over here and I'm also going to draw another vertical line down from point B to the horizontal line and hence creating another right angle triangle here and I'm going to label some new points I'm going to label this point here as point F this point this point is point F this point is point G and I'm also going to draw a horizontal line from point B going to the left and I'm going to call this point here point E so I'm creating another right angle triangle here so there are a few right angle triangles we've got a right angle triangle here from the beginning All right, we've got another right angle triangle here another right angle triangle another right angle triangle another right angle triangle so there are a lot of right angle triangles we've just created from drawing these diagrams okay and notice how this diagram is very generic right it's just a rectangle with a hypotenuse of one so I haven't specified any other restriction okay now what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to label um, each of the uh, sides each of the sides using uh, trigonometry alright so what does that mean so that means I have using this first rectangle I have uh, well let's write down the three ratios first sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent right so if we're looking at using x as theta right if x is equal to theta then I have sine x is equal to this is opposite and this is hypotenuse and this is adjacent alright so I have sine x is equal to uh, CB over uh, hypotenuse now what is the length of the hypotenuse it's just one so sine x is equal to one sorry sine x is equal to CB over one now when it's divided by one we don't even need to write it so therefore sine x is just equal to CB or you can say CB is equal to sine x and same thing with cosine x is equal to adjacent which is AB over the hypotenuse but hypotenuse is just one so we can say sine x is equal to AB and then we have tangent theta is equal to uh, CB over AB but let's not even worry about that okay so I have describe CB and AB using sine X and cos X okay now let's have a look at the new diagram okay so now I have uh, a new re new triangle here uh, which I'm going to highlight for you guys so this triangle let's use a thicker line this triangle here okay so let's work on that triangle and let's see what we can do so I have um, the angle is now X plus Y All right now we have sine of this angle Uh, is equal to uh, opposite so that's the opposite side 
which is CF over the hypotenuse. Now the hypotenuse is still 1 so therefore we don't need to write over 1. So sine theta is equal to CF cos x plus y is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse so that's AF Okay, so um, what is the rule we're trying to prove? Sorry, I gotta go back to that. Sine A plus B. So we're trying to prove sine X plus Y is equal to sine A cos B plus cos A sine B. So, you can see here that sine bracket x plus y is equal to cf. Now, where does the line cf come from? The line cf comes from ce from the point c to point e plus point e to point f. Okay, so now let's find expressions to describe line CE and line EF. Now the line EF is exactly the same as the line BG. Okay, EF is the same as BG. So I've just copied the diagram down here again. So EF is the same as BG. Which is, if you look at this right angle triangle here, this right angle triangle here, BG is the same as, uh, uh, so let's say I have uh, sine theta, so sine Y is equal to BG over the hypotenuse, which is AB. So you can say BG is equal to AB sine Y, right? Because I'm rearranging it, moving AB to the left hand side. Now, sine Y, uh, sorry, AB, if you have a look at my first rectangle, AB is equal to cos X. So I can replace AB with cos X times sine y is equal to bg which is equal to ef right as i've stated over here ef is equal to bg so now i can replace ef with cos x sine y in this equation so what do i have i have sine bracket x plus y is equal to ce plus bf sorry, CE plus EF, which is equals CE plus cos X sin, uh, times sine Y. So now I just want to find an expression to substitute for CE, and then I have proven our identity. Okay, so I'm trying to find this somehow. Okay, so what does CE equal? Well, if you have a look at our right angle triangle here, right, uh, I, I can find an expression for CE based on this right angle triangle. So how do I do that? Well, let's have a look at this angle here, angle Y. Um, actually, let me just create the diagram again. So I'm, I'm going to zoom into this diagram and you can see here angle Y is this angle here, which is the angle that the diagonal makes with the horizontal line. Now if I draw another line here, which is also horizontal, that means this line is parallel to the base. And therefore, 
this angle here must also be the same size as angle Y using year 9 geometry rules right angles uh, alternate angles on parallel lines are equal alternate angles on parallel lines so this is angle Y this is angle Y now because this angle is 90 degrees all right then that means this angle here must be 90 minus Y now because this angle was 90 and this angle was 90 plus 90 minus Y what does this angle equal okay um, so if you have 90 plus 90 minus Y plus an angle is equal to 180 right if you try solve for this it'll be negative y plus theta is equal to 180 minus 90 minus 90 so then you have negative y plus theta equals 0 so theta equals y so this angle is actually equal to y so if this angle here is equal to y I'm just going to isolate this triangle again and draw it out okay so here's a triangle here's a right angle this is y and we've got um, CB as the hypotenuse and CE as the CE as the adjacent right because I'm making Y as theta so I have um, sine uh, sorry cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse so cos Y is equal to CE over CB now I can rearrange it so that I have CB cos y equals c e alright now um, what does c b equal if you have a look at my first rectangle before the rotation c b was equal to sine x so therefore I can replace c b with sine x and then I have CE is equal to sine X times cos Y so let's substitute this into our first equation I then have sine bracket X plus Y is equal to CE which I have now said is sine X plus cos Y sorry times cos Y plus cos x sine y okay so that concludes our proof thanks for watching the video guys hope you hopefully you learned something today see you